The Universal Greeting Hi! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Start Here with Jefferson YouTube channel. About Start Here with Jefferson Hi, my name is Jefferson. You are on a journey because life is a journey, not a destination. It doesn't matter where you're going, it's whom you have beside you. You are ready for the journey, but you need a trustworthy guide for this journey. You need a mentor to show you the way. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can achieve more. Let's go on the journey together. Start here with Jefferson. My purpose is to guide and lead you so you can attract and magnetize key people, key moments, key opportunities, key blessings, key resources, and key ideas that will propel you to your place of destiny. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolute no limits, what would you choose to have and what would you choose to do? Start here. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The hardest part of any journey is taking the first step. The unexamined life is not worth living. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolutely no limits, what will you choose to have and what will you choose to do? What are your goals in life? Whom do you admire most in the world and why do you admire them? What is your purpose in life? Where are you coming from and where are you going to? Change is necessary for continued growth. Where there is no change, there is no life. Your growth is the key to the life you desire. Your growth is the only guarantee that tomorrow will get better. My desire is to help you develop the right mental attitude to discover your true strength so you can tap into your passion to grow and become successful in your endeavors. Welcome to the start here with Inspiration365. Welcome to start here with Jefferson. We are delighted to have you join us on our YouTube channel and explore our start here with Inspiration365 playlist. This playlist serves as a unique resource for those seeking daily motivation and inspiration. What sets our playlist apart is our in-depth approach to quotes. We go beyond mere recitation and offer insightful analysis through various sections, the judgment, the key, the application of the quote, the image, the potential reversal, and the conclusion. By structuring our insights in this way, we aim to provide you with a profound understanding of the quotes and practical advice for applying their lessons to your daily life. We value your feedback and continuously strive to improve our content delivery. Your input helps us make the playlist more interesting and engaging for our audience. We genuinely appreciate your communication and involvement in shaping the future of Start Here with Jefferson. Thank you for joining us on this inspirational journey. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to reach out. We are here to assist you along the way. Welcome once again to Start Here with Jefferson. The title for this episode Self-Love and Self-Care About Self-Love and Self-Care 
The topic for this week's quote is self-love and self-care. In a world that often emphasizes external achievements and prioritizes the needs of others, self-love and self-care serve as essential pillars of personal well-being and fulfillment. These concepts highlight the importance of valuing and nurturing oneself, both emotionally and physically. By embracing self-love and practicing self-care, you can cultivate a healthier relationship with yourself and foster a positive and balanced approach to life. Self-love refers to the deep appreciation and acceptance of yourself. It involves recognizing your worth, celebrating strengths, and showing compassion towards your flaws and imperfections. Self-love is a fundamental belief that every individual is deserving of respect, care, and kindness, including yourself. It involves setting healthy boundaries, practicing self-compassion, and making choices that align with personal values and well-being. Self-care, on the other hand, focuses on intentional actions taken to promote physical, mental, and emotional well-being. It involves nurturing yourself by engaging in activities that replenish energy, reduce stress, and enhance the overall quality of life. Self-care can manifest in various forms, such as engaging in hobbies, practicing mindfulness, or meditation, seeking therapy or counseling, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, setting aside time for relaxation, and prioritizing personal needs. Self-love and self-care emphasize the significance of valuing and nurturing yourself to lead a fulfilling and balanced life. Self-love involves accepting yourself, embracing strengths, and showing compassion towards flaws. Self-care entails engaging in activities that promote physical, mental, and emotional well-being. By practicing self-love and self-care, you can develop a healthier relationship with yourself, enhance your overall well-being, and cultivate a positive mindset that positively influences your interactions with others and their ability to navigate life's challenges. About this week's seven authors. This week, we are exploring the insightful perspectives of a diverse group of individuals on the topics of self-love and self-care. Through the words of Oscar Wilde, Audre Lorde, Katie Reed, Louise Hay, Andre Benjamin, Parker Palmer, and Leila Delia, we gain valuable insights into the importance of nurturing ourselves and embracing self-worth. These quotes offer a range of perspectives from different backgrounds, cultures, and experiences, reminding us that self-love and self-care are universal needs that transcend boundaries. By delving into these quotes, we can reflect on our own practices of self-love and self-care, and perhaps discover new ways to prioritize our well-being and embrace a healthier relationship with ourselves. Today's subtitle The subtitle for today's Start Here with Inspiration 365 is Self-Love and Self-Care. Part 3 of 7 Today's Quotation Today's quotation is from Katie Reid. Quote, Self-care is giving the world the best of you instead of what is left of you. Unquote about the author of today's quote. Katie Reid is a British author and blogger known for her inspiring and insightful writings on motherhood, personal growth, and self-care. With a passion for empowering women and promoting positive mental health, she has cultivated a significant online presence through her blog, Adventures of a Yorkshire Mom. Through her relatable and honest approach, Katie shares her experiences, challenges, and triumphs, resonating with readers worldwide. Her writing explores topics such as parenting, self-love, mindfulness, and well-being, offering practical advice and heartfelt reflections. Katie Reid's compassionate and authentic voice has made her a trusted source of inspiration for individuals seeking guidance and encouragement in navigating the joys and complexities of life. The Judgment
Kate is raised code. Self-care is giving the world the best of you instead of what is left of you. Carries a powerful message that resonates with many individuals seeking balance and fulfillment in their lives. However, some critics argue that prioritizing self-care may be perceived as self-centered or neglectful of responsibilities towards others. It is important to address these concerns and clarify that self-care is not about selfishness but rather about recognizing the need to care for yourself to show up as the best version of others and contribute positively to the world. The key. At the core of Kitty Rich Quote is the key message that self-care is an essential aspect of living the fulfilling and purposeful life. It emphasizes the importance of nurturing yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally to have the energy, resilience, and capacity to give to others and engage meaningfully with the world. The quote highlights the idea that self-care is not a luxury or indulgence, but a necessity for personal well-being and effective contribution to society. It underscores the value of self-worth, self-compassion, and self preservation as foundations for living a balanced and fulfilling life. The application. Katie Ruiz's quote invites us to reflect on how we prioritize our own well-being and how it impacts our ability to positively engage with the world. It encourages us to make self-care a deliberate and integral part of our daily lives. Practically, this can involve setting boundaries, practicing self-compassion, engaging in activities that bring joy and rejuvenation, and seeking support when needed. By prioritizing self-care, we can cultivate resilience, enhance our physical and mental health, and ultimately contribute more meaningfully and authentically to our relationships, work, and community. The Image The imagery in the quote paints a vivid picture of the contrast between giving the world the best of yourself versus what is left after neglecting self-care. It invokes the idea that when we prioritize self-care, we have more to offer others. The image emphasizes the transformative power of self-care, envisioning individuals who have nurtured themselves, radiating their best selves and positively impacting the world around them. Visually, this image can be represented through vibrant and empowered individuals radiating energy and vitality, symbolizing the profound effect of self-care on personal well-being and collective upliftment. The Potential Reversal In certain contexts, the message of the quote may be challenged or contradicted. Cultural or societal norms that prioritize self-sacrifice and they value self-care may discourage individuals from prioritizing their own needs. Additionally, individuals facing systemic barriers or marginalized communities may find it challenging to prioritize self-care due to limited resources or oppressive circumstances. It is crucial to recognize these challenges and work towards creating inclusive environments and systems that support and enable self-care for all individuals, regardless of their backgrounds or circumstances. The Conclusion In conclusion, Katie Ruiz's quote reminds us of the importance of self-care to give the world our best selves. It challenges the notion that self-care is selfish and emphasizes that nurturing ourselves is essential for personal well-being and our ability to contribute positively to others. By embracing self-care and prioritizing our own needs, we can cultivate a strong foundation from which we can engage with the world in a more meaningful and impactful way. Ultimately, 
This quote serves as a gentle reminder that self-care is not only beneficial for us, but also for the greater good, allowing us to bring our best selves to the world and make a positive difference. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your support and I'm grateful for each and every one of you who watches and engages with my content. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you are interested in even more content, check out my channels, the show word for today, Robots Digital Experts and Start Here with Jefferson. You can find links to all of them in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.